Good morning, Jordan and everybody else. Jordan has been at RLC for five years, joining in her grade eight year. In her quiet and reflective way, she has observed and taken in all that RLC has to offer. In her grade 10 drama, or in grade, grade 10 drama, when given her monologue assignment, Jordan came to me and asked if she could just perform it for me, as she wasn't sure that she could do it in front of everybody. Yet day after day, I watched her practice, apply techniques, and refine until her monologue was a well-oiled machine. I don't use that phrase lightly. Cars to Jordan are one of her escapes, her grounding factors, her happy place. She finds strength in figuring out not only how the car drives, but also how the individual parts work. Understanding it from the inside out gives her the confidence to master it on the outside, to drive it safely, to be in control of literally where she is going. This is what she did with her grade 10 monologue performance that she was so very much dreading. Speaking in front of the whole class, yet she dug her heels in. She fought her way to understand it and made sure that she could control it. Her performance was outstanding. I asked her to perform in the Winter Arts Fest, but she politely declined, <laughs> one big accomplishment at a time. But this is Jordan. I dare anyone to tell her that she can't do something. Don't dare her to do something silly. She's far too wise for that, um, to fall for that but try to say that she can't do something that she wants and she'll readily prove you wrong. Jordan is a quiet, determined individual who knows herself well. She's a myriad of juxtapositions, car racing and the quiet of fishing on a lake or creating her own business um, and lip balms or baking and cooking uh, or learning to take her dirt bike apart just so that she can put it back together again. She is a deep well of interests that make her unique. And while she may not flaunt it or shout it, if you take the time to seek her out, to talk to her about what she has been up to, you will undoubtedly be more than surprised. Jo Jordan has her goals well set out and I cannot wait for next year and the years beyond to hear from her and all of the things that she has um, accomplished and what she might be doing at any given moment. Thank you for sharing today, Jordan, a glimpse into what your world is. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Saley. Okay. So obviously I'm Jordan and this is my fifth and final year at RLC. If you had asked me five years ago where I thought I would be in five years, my answer wouldn't have been even been remotely close to where I am now in my life. As I was growing up, I kind of, I moved around a lot, went to a bunch of different schools before ending up here. I was never a school kid. From as long as I can remember, I didn't like school. I didn't want to be there. And some days it was difficult to get me to stay. Because of this and the fact that I was never at one school for longer than a few years, I kind of became very introverted and tended to keep to myself a lot. Um, after kind of half a year being homeschooled uh, because I refused to finish the seventh grade, my mom got a job after at this school in Rosso. She decided to take it and a couple weeks before school started, asked me if I wanted to enroll. I was unsure. I didn't know if I wanted to start a new school and kind of go back to the beginning, but I took a chance and decided to enroll at what was RLC. The first day of school um, was scary. I wasn't at registration day the day before, so I knew absolutely nobody. And because it was such a last minute decision, I ended up writing my entrance test on the day of, resulting in me being late for class. This I was absolutely terrifying. Um, as I walked in, obviously everyone turned and looked at me and I was scared, even though this class had maybe like five kids in it. From that day on deal, though, I knew this place was really not that bad. I was scared, but that quickly went away as I got to know my classmates. And on the first day, I fought back all the fear and I actually won. I even got the courage to approach one of the girls in my class and talk to her. And I know that's kind of surprising. Me, initiating a conversation isn't something I would have ever thought I'd be doing. And... Uh, Cause this courage and confidence that I actually built up ended up making a friend. Some of you may even remember Abby, but for that year, we were honestly very glued at the hip. Ended up becoming really close with her and her sister Harper. And to this day, we're still amazing friends. This school has helped me grow into the person I am right from day one. It inspired me and helped me get in my shell and kind of become myself. From Mr. Smart's many classes, learning about presenting and presentation skills, to Ms. Colson constantly trying to convince me that snowboarding is better than skiing, 
and to Mr. Smith and Mr. Vogt teaching you to run at the Frisbee instead of away from it, which is a whole challenge in itself. I've learned a lot here, and this year alone has taught me so much. I remember being young and looking up to all the grade 11, 12 prefects, thinking how brave and confident they must be to have these positions as kind of student leaders. I knew that I would never be able to do that, that I would never be able to be in that kind of leadership position, let alone have the confidence to talk in front of the whole school. Obviously, things haven't gone the way I thought they would have five years ago. I'm now a prefect and in my grade 12 year, preparing to go to post-secondary. It's crazy to think that in just five years, I was able to accomplish so much. I met so many amazing people and made so many great friends, like Abby and Harper on my first day here, and obviously Kieran Wayleray that I'll be best friends until my last day. <laughs> I know that I've created lifelong friendships here all about preparing for what the world has to offer me after high school. I've learned that things don't always go the way we hope they do, or maybe how we plan for them to turn out, but that's okay. I think change is good, and it's even better when something changes you that forces you to go outside your comfort zone. Without change, I don't think I'd be where I am today, and I'd probably still be that shy, introverted eighth grade girl that I was all those years ago. And now, because of RLC, I'm prepared to get out into the world and to graduate. And honestly, I'm ready now to run at everything the world has to throw at me instead of away from it. Thank you. Yeah. Jordan, <laughs> thank you so much for that. So powerful to get a portrait of your entire experience here from five years ago and for you to take us backwards through time to imagine um, someone who uh, arrived with, uh, with a little bit of fear and trepidation and uh, into a class of five um, and, and finding even that overwhelming, although it is important to remember that sometimes the smaller groups can be more uh, terrifying than the larger groups. Thank you for taking us from that point uh, to where you are now. It's, uh, it's from the outside looking in, it's a pretty amazing uh, level of growth and uh, journey to comprehend. So thank you for that. I'm so glad that you were able to immediately find confidence at, that, at this school on your first day. And then uh, you were able to take this opportunity um, to foster that confidence and courage over the course of five years. Um, you're a leader in your own way. Isn't that amazing? You lead all of us. Uh, I personally look to you for your quiet confidence, your quiet positivity. It's wonderful to ask how you're doing on a given day, Jordan. I'm so glad you were able to make so many great friends um, that are going to last your lifetime. Uh, people are lucky to be your friend. Uh, anyone's lucky to be a friend of someone who values friendship so strongly and will be so devoted to it over the course of time. Um, life is not a straight line, is it? And sometimes we want it to be. And uh, in my experience, success is found in embracing the fact that it has its twists and turns. And you seem to thrive on that, Jordan. So congratulations on today and your amazing growth. And thank you so much for sharing.